Hi there everybody, welcome back to the channel. You're watching what Ritterbit will do, and it's time for us to get ready for winter. Stick around. Well, old man winter did it again. It just kind of snuck right up on me and I'm not really ready for it. Uh, luckily, it snowed last night, but it didn't snow enough for me to have to go out and plow. I say luckily because I'm not quite ready. I mean, yeah, I kind of wanted to move some snow, but I'm not quite ready. So we're gonna be going in the garage and we've got the snow blower to get ready, okay? Now, first off, um, I got a couple space heaters going on here in the garage and I uh, got one over here. I got one over on the other side over there. And what I'm trying to do is just kind of warm it up a little bit in here, make it a little bit more comfortable to work. So hopefully the, uh, the noise of the space heater isn't gonna drive you nuts, but uh, if it does, don't watch. All right, here's what we're doing. On the bottom of this snowblower is a wear blade and it is worn out. It is just completely worn out. So we gotta replace that. On the back of this snowblower are some wear shoes on the back of it, see? And they are really worn out, uh, beyond worn out. We'll look at the other one on this side too. Uh, so yeah, they're, they're both about the same condition. They need to be replaced, and I've got replacements for them. One more thing, on the side of the snowblower, I have some side shoes that I mount on here. Um, these are not factory. These I've bought on Amazon or something. But the bottom is pretty thin, so we're just going to flip those over, and then it'll be good to go. Last night, I was out in the garage, and I changed the oil in the tractor. And the reason that I did that is because I use an old style, the old style quick attach, right? Or whatever they want to call it, quick hitch. Well, it has a name and I can never remember it. Quick mount attachment, quick, I think it's, I think it's a quick attach. I don't know, anyway. The quick attach system, this system, you know, with the cylinder and the frame and all of this stuff and the pins down here. I use the old style because I use this one on my BX25. Well. This is the BX23S, and the reason that the newer ones are different are because of this clearance right here, okay? The new ones are different, and they mount off to the side, I think, further out, and I believe, and I could be wrong, but I believe you can still use the brush guard um, with the new mounting system. But the reason that this one is no longer used, and and in my opinion, it's a minor reason. Because if I pop the hood, watch this. See, there's, there's very little clearance there. That is as far as I can open the hood. So I have to be very careful. So, um, before I put the snowblower on, I always change the oil. Because it's really hard to get in there and check the oil when that's all the farther you can open the hood. So I changed the oil last night. See, I can prove it. I even left a little bit right there on the ground for you. Just to show I'm not lying. I make a mess too, probably like most of you. All right, we've got some replacement parts to replace. Let's get at it. Well, we got the wear blade off the snowblower. I ended up breaking, breaking one of the bolts. I think I, uh, I think I have a replacement for that. Maybe in my toolbox. We'll have to take a look. This is a reversible wear blade, and as you can see, this was last season, and this was the season before, and it is completely worn out. So I'm going to go grab a new one, and I'll show you what a new one looks like compared to the old one. Here is the new wear blade. Here is the old one. So as you can see, if I put them next to each other here, 
Uh, <laughs> I've lost at least about an inch and a quarter, inch and a half in places, and uh, we need to put a we need to put this thing back on. So, um, yep, that's what we're gonna do. Uh, if you're looking for a wear blade for a snowblower for a BX, I'm sure they use the same part number as uh, whatever I can find. I can't even find the part number. Oh, here it is. In case you want to know, there's the part number, guys. I hold that close. There you go. You got it. You got it. If you didn't get it, go back and pause. That's one way of getting it. All right, so we're going to put that on. Hopefully find a bolt. Let's take a look in the old toolbox. Every time I go to the store and I can't find what they need, I don't ever like to leave empty-handed, so I usually grab a variety of bolts and nuts and washers, and then I end up with a nice little selection of bolts and nuts and washers that I can use somewhere down the road. I want to get one with the, uh, the square end so it doesn't spin when I tighten it. Not that that's really necessary but it would be nice yeah that's what we'll do we'll give that a try found them and just what i needed i only had two of them they happen to be stainless steel so uh that'll that's even better right There we go, that takes care of the bottom edge wear blade. Uh, as you can see inside here, it is pretty well scraped up. And that is because this did not get any attention after the season last year. Uh, when it was done snowing, I took it off and I put it away. Normally I, uh, I spray some primer on all of the worn areas and then I uh, spray paint it and make it look pretty again. Um, this past season, I did not. Maybe I'll spray a little primer and paint on it if I can get it warm enough here in the garage. I think what we'll do is we'll just flip over the side shoes. That's what we'll do. We'll flip over the side shoes first, and then we'll put on the new rear shoes. So this has a lot of a lot of wear protection, right? I got two things on the side, the wear blade on the front, and the the bottom shoes, wear shoes on the bottom. The snowblower has held up really well because taking good care of it. These side shoes I found on Amazon or eBay or one or the other and all I did is I just drilled a couple holes in the side here and and put them on. I mean it, just to add a little bit more protection. Uh, one of the biggest reasons was I didn't want to mess up this edge. As you can see there's a there's a dent right here but we'll straighten that out. Um, but just a simple solution you know 20, 30 bucks for a pair of side shoes that are reversible so I can rotate them and use them on the other side as well. Uh, always a little helpful. So all we're doing is flipping these things over, putting it back together, and we'll get another maybe two seasons out of it. I can't remember. This is, <laughs> that's paper thin right there. I think uh, I think I may have only gotten one season out of one season out of it so far. Um, I'm pretty sure, actually. So, you know, they're good for at least two seasons. This is just a cheap little assurance to make sure that I'm not messing up the edge of my snowblower. And now we'll change the rear shoes. This is the first time I've ever had to replace these. I didn't realize that they just kind of slid. See how this works? Um, yeah, I've, I've never had to replace these yet. Uh, so yeah, this is the worn out one. It's actually, you'll see what the new one looks like, but this one is, is worn right down to nothing. So, whoops. So yeah, I was worried that I was gonna lose that bolt because I didn't know how I was gonna get to the back side of it, but now I've got it figured out. Okay, now you can now you can see what they're supposed to look like. <laughs> here's here's the old one and obviously the new one. 
you can see, um, yeah, it was it was missing. It was missing just a little bit of a little bit of material there. So get this line back up. Trying to be smart, and it's not working out really well, is it? There we go. Oh, I can see why. We got a little bit of a bend back here, so we might have to get the old hammer and pound that back in. Because that's a problem. It's pretty bent, so we're going to probably hit that a few times with the hammer, see if we can't straighten that out a little bit. that up a little bit. This is all exhaust soot back here. I'm sure you guys get the same problem I do. Just gets all nasty. I'm gonna hit that a couple more times, straighten that out a little bit more. There, that's, that's much better. Okay, that feels nice and flat now. There we go. Now we're ready to do some adjusting. We got the skid plate on, we got the side shoes turned over, and we get some brand new rear skid shoes on there. So now we'll adjust it so everything works the way it's supposed to. So there's three different things on this snowblower that are going to wear out and that it need replacing. And as you saw, we replaced all three of those today. We've got the bottom edge, we've got the side shoes, and we've got the the shoes on the back, right? Well, the first thing that I want to wear out is this bottom edge. So everything else needs to be set a little bit higher than that. Okay, the rear shoes at least. This can be around the same height, maybe just a hair taller. But the rear shoes, we're gonna put a little bit taller because we don't want those to wear out as quickly. Um, simply because we can get at least two seasons out of this wear blade because it's reversible so then it works out everything just kind of wears out at the same time and you replace it um, and turn things around and then it works out just like it should so we're going to make sure that we get the rear blades the rear shoes up a little bit higher than this so this right now is perfectly flat and we're on level ground so and that's tight we're not gonna we're not gonna move that I just so happen to have a little wood shim, so we're going to shim that up a little bit, tighten it in place. And now we're ready for some snow, so bring it on, Mother Nature. <laughs> I shouldn't speak too loud. I don't have time to be moving snow. I've been so busy, but uh, if it comes, at least we're ready. We've got the wear blade on. We've got the wear shoes uh, at the right height. We've got the side shoes, the wear side shoes. Yeah, we are ready for some snow. I'm uh, going to probably get a little, maybe some fresh paint on here. It's starting to warm up here in the garage. And then we'll call it good. So, guys, I appreciate you watching. I really do. Uh, I, thanks for tuning into the channel. It does it does mean a lot to me. I try to read all your comments. I'm having a hard time keeping up replying to everybody, but I, I really do appreciate it. So, until next time, everyone, keep on tractoring, and God bless.